Hello over users, Alex CUV Guide, amazing news, Chaos Group just dropped this cool free 3D content package with HDRI maps, 3D models, textures, plants, people, vegetation, cars, so much stuff in it and uh, we're going to discover this right now. What they did, they actually went and took top 3D artists, 3D companies in the world such as No Emotion, Marek Denko, uh, Viz People, 3D Render People, um, Viz Pack, and they took, they brought them all together and they made this cool package. You can see this actually demo here um, of all the models that you can get completely for free. You can also see Cows Group change their logo and uh, they constantly adding and improving i think this is really great whatever they did bringing all this stuff together so i think it's a way to go because uh, those companies they trying so hard you know to sell those models and basically people get everything for free these days so it's a great idea if you combine forces and make one big company that can provide all you need in one package Okay, and basically this is what Chaos Group is uh, doing here with this Cosmos, Chaos Cosmos. So after installing the new update, V-Ray 5 update here, we can find uh, two new buttons. One is V-Ray Cosmos here browser and one is also shortcut uh, to Chaos Cloud submission. So uh, it's another feature that actually was added in this uh, update. But what we're interested in is in this Chaos Cosmos. So let's just click in. I'm going to do sign in. And voila, I'm in my uh, library here. So let's just click on the creators. That way we understand uh, who are the creators of this amazing content. So we can see Design Connected. They have, uh, you guys know, amazing furniture and a lot of different props that you can use a lot of cool stuff here very high detailed um, Hume 3D this is vehicles um, we have also police some tra other transportation some yachts Max tree pretty cool vegetation here no emotion we get a bunch of cool HDRIs here render people you probably know we use them and uh, this pack here we got some extra high detail trees okay so uh let's do a little exploration of what we've get what we can get here actually going to scroll down find something oh this is like i was actually looking for something like this for a long time you know those cloth they add such a cool detail and such a pain to make them anyways um let's do some furniture let's do 3d models i'm going to bring some furniture in i actually brought this one in so how this works you click on let's say download you like this item you click on download you can see it's 43.44 megabytes and then you can click import and voila boom this goes into your scene and uh, you can see this model comes as proxy which is pretty cool because it saves uh, time and it's lighter to work with and it can be easily cloned so uh, let's add some stage here I'm gonna click T and uh, let's do some extended chamfered cylinder here i'm gonna click p go back so let's make a little stage so we can render and do some tests and see how this stuff actually looks because uh on on the previous those things looking great Okay, so I'm gonna do something like this. Editable mesh. And I'm going to remove the top right here. So we'll have like a small stage. 
to do some render tests and to check those cool models. I'm gonna make it uh, gray for now and let's add some light on top real quick very light and I'm gonna drag it up so now there's a cool thing here called uh, interactive rendering IPR so let's just uh, change our viewport to one by one and here I can activate my uh, IPR and see how this stuff works. All right, pretty cool stuff. It's a little too much. Let's put one. Okay, this stuff is looking pretty good. So basically, that's you know how you can bring those models in. Um, let's delete this and bring something else like this chair just in one click and it goes inside now let's see what else those guys have let's see the creators and no emotion let's get some cool HDRIs. Let's try this Sunset 24, click download, 26 megabytes. That's pretty good because um, as you guys know, they used to have really heavy HDRIs with like over 200 megabytes. And um, it's just a big no-no if you're trying to do stuff with VR or export things to Unreal Engine, you have to do a lot of optimization. It can be good for stills images, not so much for animation, but as you can see here, those got already optimized. So if we click on import, you can see uh, it's bringing this in, putting it on a dome light right away. And it puts that image right here into, into the material slot. So you have, we have this HDRI. Now it's uh, a little bit overexposed so what we're gonna do is actually reduce it let's do point two and override and point two let's reduce this to something very small minimal oops and let me just enlarge this stage make it a little bigger very cool now i think maybe it's a little this is also cool and yeah, let's do some inverse gamma in order to get some cool shadows all right now we can also rotate this dynamically. Oh, wow, this looks cool. So I'm trying to find a good angle here. And a little bit stronger light and maybe that's too strong so let's do 0.5 and 0.5 okay so pretty cool stuff look at that amazing now uh, let's see what else we've got here I think we've got some cars Hume 3d Let's try this Porsche. 
also 51 megabytes very uh, very light that's how it should be okay now let's bring it in and one off this is already looking amazing and uh, let's do this invisible and let's remove the reflections now um, let's see if we have some concrete texture in our library so we also have a library here let's see if they have asphalt we have asphalt here let's take this one looks good and actually going to delete this guy and uh, let's add very plane and put this asphalt on very plane all right This uh, HDRI a little dark, so what we can do is let's bring another one in. Actually, going to delete this and let's bring let's bring something like this sunset okay again we need to slightly adjust it in order to match what we need so you can see some hdris come with a little different exposure values oops i need to go here override and render multiplier nice Yeah, I mean, this stuff's looking great. And uh, can also increase a little bit the lighting. Amazing sky. I love Marek Denko work. Was one of my favorite artists all the times. He did such a cool details. Um, you can, by the way, read uh, a little bit. I think they wrote um, for every company that's providing here models. They wrote a little sum summary. Okay, so let's bring a few more in. Let's do some render people. Let's take this businesswoman entering the car, something like that. Let's see how it looks. You can see amazing quality stuff already looking pretty cool okay let's import that woman in also comes as a proxy See if we have some bushes here. Let's check some of those trees. The quality is what we're looking for. You know, in many cases. 
um, those trees can have lack of either high either good quality or high detail but uh, let's check this one they also uh, 43 megabytes optimized so this stuff is looking pretty cool okay all right let's see how this is looking let me move that to the side and let's see the quality of that They're looking pretty cool i can see already it's got nice variation in the leaves that's what we're looking for we need that you know different types of specular different types of colorization the biggest problem was that all the leaves they used to look the same so you had to go break it down into groups run different ids in order to make them look uh different but this one's looking pretty cool okay and to select it you actually have to select the whole thing if you want to scale it down let's see what else they got oops let's click on the cosmos here any good bushes let's go 3d model on oh, here we go those are looking cool this is what i wanted to check those 3d grasses i just love those they have a lot of detail in them and they're looking pretty cool let's get this one too those hedges they also look uh, very cool and we have a little sample Ooh, the quality looking very good Let's move this guy and let's see okay all right those guys looking pretty cool i love whatever cows group is doing with adding those new cool models and features and giving us all the tools we need in order to make it look amazing and make our work much much more easier to do okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration warmly recommend you to go and upgrade your v-ray to v-ray 5 with this new update one which includes this cool cosmos cows cosmos library and uh, post your comments below Share it, like it. This is Alex, your V-Ray guy. Talk soon. Ciao.